any timeline on the book. Uh, you know, <laughs> at this, <laughs> I keep, I'm not I keep laughing putting it at out. you. I swear to God, I'm not laughing at you. I keep putting it out there, and it keeps being pushed back. I, it is. It, I have. It has been actively worked on. I'm writing it. Um, I am. Once I get past the writing phase, I actually do want to start like a, uh, like a live, like a live blog, like a live YouTube channel. Um, actually drawing it. Um, I'm pretty confident I can have it done. Um, out, I can have it out next year. I'm pretty confident. It is. It is in the process. It's just a matter of like, now I just have to dedicate the time to it. And I before it, I can dedicate 100 percent of my time to it, I got it's, o- it's it okay to set a goal. You want it done by the time your daughter turns 18. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> you, whatever, I did, whatever. I didn't, say, I, I didn't say which daughter. <laughs> I want to. I want to know what it's about. Like what style? What's up, Evan? What style you're going with? Hey, what's up, Cross? Yeah, I'm still. I, that's actually what I've been. I had been experimenting with a lot, and yeah. I, I. It keeps. It keeps adjusting a little bit. Like I do when I do sketch, I'm trying different styles. Right now, it's kind of. I'm kind of headed towards, um, like a, something something with a mixture of, um, like a Jason Pearson, like a little bit of more blocky cartoon style. <laughs> but with a little more of a European flair or something, I'm not sure. sure. I want to bring back. I want to bring back that the good. Like I'm definitely on the '90s tip for sure. Um, but I also have a lot of that classic, that, that classic style in me. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah. I really, I'm really looking at the old. That's um, what I. Tr- that's what I try to do, but in my own way is mix newer things with classic. Yeah, and I'll I'll start I'll start showing you guys some stuff as soon as like the world comes back to normal my i can get my sketchbooks back but like right now right the last last i was working on it it was kind of a mix between john ramita senior and jason pearson oh wow oh okay so anything that's got jason pearson in it you know makes me happy so yeah he's awesome and i'm and and, but like 90s jason pearson not not, no offense to, to him now but you know i like that i like that kind of blocky style where it was like right before he went cartoony you know what i mean See, that's the style of his I like the best, you know. Well, you also like drawing furry people, so. Yeah, I know. I think I think the best. I think the my favorite version of Jason Pearson is the eight-page black and Batman black and white story that he did. Mm-hmm. The one where he's going after. There's a, a bunch of Joker villains that are like he's chasing after them, and he's running through the city and every time you, he hits somebody or punches somebody, there's like a billboard in the background that says kapow Cola, or something. And it's just, it was just great, he but did, it's very much that, that animated Jason Pearson style. He did a story. Um, what was what really quick? What was Glenn Dan Danzig's uh, company? Oh, I actually found those issues. Oh, I God, found I them. I remember, but yeah, I know what you're talking he, dem- about. Demon, the, 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 demonic tricks or something. Sunglasses at night or sunglasses. No, at no, 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 no. I know what you're saying, but that's not what I'm thinking of. He okay. did, um, he did a, a short story for one of those comics, and it was the highlight of his skill. Um, and I'm trying to remember. Uh, what the name of the book was, but uh, I back in the day when it came out, I like photocopy. It was a black and white. Uh, they were black and white, and I actually printed out. This is back when. Do you remember there was like a long, like for a long period? Um, I don't know if you guys did this, but I would like like find images on the internet and I'd print them out. Like JPEGs on the internet, if they were high quality, I would print them out and have a, like a big binder full of art. Um, yeah, anyway, that, but it wasn't art that I was printing out. Okay. Anyway, um, uh, I, I printed out the story, and it's to this day, it's still the best uh, Jason Pearson art. Like, it's so good. You're gonna um, have to tell me which comic. That yeah, is. I don't I'm not remember with it at all. I don't remember. I'm. I am. It was right around. It was so. It was right after uh, Body Bag. So it was the similar style, but he like put way too much work in it, and it was awesome. It wow. was awesome. He's notoriously known for being very slow, so yeah. And also, I, I personally, I, I still, I still, I still really, well, yeah, I still really gravitate towards his like blockier style, like the, um, uh, the um, Savage Dragon first body bag series style. Like to yep. me, even even the um, the penthouse comic style. You know what I'm talking about. 
Well, yeah. he did. He did a fantastic job on the first two issues of that uh, Astonishing X Men series. But that was pretty good. He couldn't finish it. It was like a four part series, and he only did like one and a half issues. Mm-hmm. And then Nick Bradshaw was asked to finish it, and I hate to say it, but that I think that series is what made Nick Bradshaw a household name in the comic industry. You know, mm-hmm. but it was started by Jason Pearson. There it is. Okay, I'm get. I'm fine. My my memory is starting to kick in. I'm starting to find pages. Okay, hold on. Or a page. I found a page. Okay, so I found a page. Um, again, I downloaded it a long time ago. Okay, um, share with so us. So let me let me pop it open. It was very it was very verotic. Gotcha. Verotic, verotic. Am I gonna get a? Am I gonna get a? Nope. Okay. But you're gonna see it's like really detailed. But it's it like you can tell he was like really like working the page. I was like, damn, dude. I, I've done books entirely by myself. I've done projects that completely died. So I've done so many books that have died. Finding fell apart or something. Ugh. So you can't I've seen that one before. Yeah, you can't. You can't totally tell because it's a bad. It's like a low res JPEG. But the fade. You know how he does those like nice ink line fades. Right. Right. His yeah, yeah. fades are it's, all throughout here, man. It's that, such. This short story, it was like an eight-page story. This story was so good, and it was like so detailed, and I was, it just blew me away. I was like, and I've never forgotten it. I was like, oh, my God. I don't so, think I've ever seen that. Yeah, I'm going to try to find um, – oh, you know, what, you know what I can do? Duh. Let me – um, I could probably pull up the issue. Yeah, Jason Pearson art does look pretty good. I looked up and saw it. Yeah, Ver- the Verotic – it's a five-page story. It's his best art. Um, in my opinion, um, somebody else, the actual person that posted the page was like, yeah, this is his best series of the period. I'm like, yeah, it pretty much was that it was a five, five page story. I highly recommend if you can find it. Um, I can't, I, I, I'm looking for it online. I can't find it, but, um, by far the best, uh, the best stuff. Such a talent, so many talented artists and, you know, you're uh, still here with us. And yeah, I'm and I'm stuck here with you. No, and <laughs> and you know, I'm just glad they have Kickstarter to uh, to help them out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good for them. Uh, they, yeah. I, I'm glad that the SJWs and the mainstream have Kickstarter. You remember this one? Yep. That, that awesome? was from the. Wasn't that from the Chromium card set? It was. Yeah. Actually, I think I do have many of those pieces, many cards. So. Jason Pearson was awesome. Yeah, he still is. Well, he you still know. is, but like, what's the last thing you remember him doing? Oh, no, I don't Crazy. remember anything doing him. Yeah. <laughs> Savage Dragon. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's, that's, I know he's done other stuff, but that Savage Dragon thing is the last thing I really remember, besides seeing some kind of cover that had Robin on it. Dude, the Savage Dragon. Have you ever seen the Savage Dragon, the, like the black and white art from that Savage Dragon book? I know. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I have it right here, actually. Here, I'll show you. Uh, just, uh, I have a couple of pages I'll share with you. Andrew, you're up. That's kind of like his dark style. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Wasn't that a uh, sex and violence, or was that blood and gu- blood and go- uh, blood, go- blood, blood, yeah, blood, guts. blood and guts? Blood and guts. Yeah. There, I'll show you the, another one here. Sex and violence was the Rick Mays one. Yeah, I, it was all right. Yeah. Here, check this one out. Oh, I was thinking of sex and violence, which was something different. That was George Perez. Oh, I've got an issue. Oh, with yeah. My oh, my God. Here. I totally forgot about that. Look at that. Look and I've seen some other more recent stuff by him that's even better than that. Look how awesome that is. That is awesome. Even Joel's like the... Check this well, out. Wasn't Come his on. big thing guns and cars? Yeah. Like, he did a lot of really good... He was really the first artist in comics that could draw a car, like, like, like really good hot rods. And you know what's so funny about that? is one of the main storyline 
pieces in that Savage Dragon limited series was her car. And um, Eric Larson doesn't like drawing cars. Eric Larson doesn't like drawing cars. And he said in interviews that you'll never see Savage Dragon driving a car mm -hmm. in Savage Dragon because of the fact he doesn't like draw, drawing cars. But Jason at, Peterson did it. See, I always felt like Jason Pearson was always on the verge of having like, like a, a cartoon version of Mike Mignola. You know? Some Michael Golden. A lot of Michael yeah, Golden. My, oh, yeah. A lot of Michael Golden for sure. But look how dope that is, dude. I hate to say it. I see some Steve Rude in there too as well. I could see that. You know? I totally could see that. All right. What's this one? That's a great series. I got to see if I have it. Look how good. Look how, yeah. look how good that is. I'm sorry. That is just <laughs> wicked. Like, look at that, dude. Damn, Avery. Uh, <laughs> look how dope this page is, dude. It's a, it, it's literally just an arm, and it's like so good. Yeah, it's all right. It's come on. That's awesome. Yeah, it's all right. Very John Burnish, you know. That's awesome. Let me see. That is awesome. Oh, yeah, that's pretty dope. It's one of the covers. Was that a two or three issue limited series? Do you remember? Three. Yeah. It was okay. three. I know because I still stare at it like once a month. Let's see if I can. Uh, Richard says, dang, uh, damn again, Avery. And Dillard Vape says, Avery, in all caps. So you must have said something worth listening to. Look at that, dude. Uh, Avery, Dillard Vape says, Avery, I got a great idea. Uh oh. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, oh wow. Rogue and Mystique and a bunch of jets. That's pretty cool. Yeah. He's pulling her out of that car. Look at that thing. Oh, uh, there was a there was one with uh Magneto and Storm versus the Executioner. That was pretty fantastic. I remember the I remember the annual versus the, the Executioner and he cracked open Colossus. That's the one I remember. I don't remember him cracking open Colossus, but I'm sure. Yeah, probably. yeah, he busted him open. He busted open his armor. Well, see, now I'm gonna have to find that issue. That issue. I remember which one it is. So. See, I always felt like Jason Pearson was always on the verge of having like like a the cartoon version of Mike Mignola. You know. Some Michael Golden, a lot of Michael. Yeah, my oh yeah, a lot of Michael Golden for sure. But look how dope that is, dude. I hate to say it, I see some Steve Rude in there too as well. I could see that, you know. I totally could see that. Damn, could you imagine if all those guys got together and made a baby? No, <laughs> you why would, would you, you want? You think about three men making a baby? Golly, Andrew. You and they, while you listen to One Direction. They made, a, they made a movie. Oh, no. a Avery just took it too far. <laughs> I don't want to hear about three men making a baby in one direction. <laughs> <laughs> three men making a baby with one erection. <laughs> one erection and one, with one direction. Oh, God. Hey, everybody. Thanks a lot for checking out our video. If you like this content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications and join us again. We live stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday starting at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. We usually go for about an hour. We do drawing, we talk about comics, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Make sure you leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down either way, and we'll catch you all next time.